Hello everyone. Welcome to lecture series on analog circuits. Today's video I'll be discussing about uh, biasing MOS amplifiers uh, circuits. So MOS means uh, MOS circuit that is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. So before going with this, I'll try, just try to revise the concepts of uh, feedback amplifiers uh, MOSFETs. So here in here I'll be basically concentrating on enhancement type MOSFET. Um, so I'll start with the construction here as you augment MOSFET there will not be any channel so since channel is not absent here I call this to be enhancement type MOSFET why it is called as enhancement type MOSFET we'll see it later so uh, as you can see here if I try to uh, apply some drain and source voltage because channel is not existing current will not flow from drain to source why because channel is absent so in order to make my device work I have to first establish the channel here to establish the channel what should I do I have to have an N region created here to create the N region what should I do to create the N region I have to bias some positive potential here because electrons get attracted by positive charge so in order to attract the electrons over this region and form a channel I will apply some positive potential to the gate between gate and source source will be acting as common fine between input and output and uh, there are basically four terminals drain gate source and substrate and the sub name another name for substrate is also called as it is also called as body fine so i am biasing here you can see that i am biasing the gate and source with some positive potential that is i am connecting gate to positive terminal and negative terminal is connected to source where source is connected to ground and even I when i do this what will happen is because of this positive charge available here electron starts appearing across this junction where SiO2 layer is there fine electrons which are minority charge carriers which are available in P type starts accumulating across between in between these end open regions forming a channel once this channel is formed and uh, I say I will be applying the value of some value of VDS and here VDS is also called as VDD because there is no resonance available here so once channel is formed yeah and if i apply vdd current starts flowing from drain to source current starts flowing from drain to source hopefully i am clear why current starts flowing from drain to source because this is a uh, completely n path uh, which are rich in electrons electrons get attracted towards positive electrons flows from source to drain whereas current flows from drain to source so in this way the current flows that is from drain to source the minimum value of vgs uh, then what, what is the necessity here necessity is what value of vgs i am supposed to apply the minimum value of vgs necessary to uh, allow measurable amount of current flow that is called as threshold voltage the minimum value of vgs um, which is necessary for establishing a channel uh, and making that channel conduct measurable amount of current flow is called as threshold voltage fine so that threshold voltage will be uh, denoted as VT that threshold voltage will be denoted as VT fine so now uh, whatever after VGS uh, so VT is what minimum voltage necessary for transistor uh, to conduct why because this voltage is eaten by transistor to create a channel fine so uh, if I try to draw a plot here we can see that here we can see that if I want to draw, try to draw a plot of ID, what is the output current? What is the output current? ID. What is the input voltage? Where am I applying the input voltage? Here, VGS. Where am I having the current flow? ID. So if I draw a transfer characteristic, if I draw a transfer characteristic, what is the transfer characteristic? It is plot of output current, output parameter versus input parameter. What is the input parameter? It is VGS. Fine. So id versus vgs so for some point of time current will not be flowing so that is the minimum voltage necessary for establishing the channel and usually i measure the current in milliampere until unless current flows in milliampere i consider the current to be zero ideally some current will be existing but it will be nanoampere range so after threshold voltage vt my current starts flowing and increasing rap increases rapidly so this is my transfer characteristic this is my transfer characteristic. So, if I how, how will be I will be drawing the output characteristic output characteristic 
will be a plot of output current. What is the output current? ID. What is output voltage? What is the output voltage here? V ds correct then the graph will be somewhat of this sort some somewhat of the like this you see this gap should go on building this gap should go on increasing why because the mosfet is a, a non linear device and uh, this value where i am having the threshold voltage i call this point to be vgs minus vt this value is nothing but minimum voltage before this the current was increasing after i reach this limit the current starts remaining constant so this region is called as saturation region where current is fixed now this region before the current is fixed and current was increasing in this region is called as triode region this region is called as triode region this is the voltage what is this voltage is called as this is called as override voltage this voltage is called as override voltage override voltage usually vgs minus vt is called as another notation is used as vov o vov means what override voltage so the, this is how we try to analyze it um, mosfet fine enhancement mosfet what is the use of silicon dioxide layer see one uh, apply positive potential here electrons starts accumulating here in order to prevent electron from jumping this uh, uh, jumping into this uh, gate terminal or in order to prevent electron flow from this channel to the gate i use a si2 layer si2 layer basically acts like a dielectric or a insulator which tries to oppose electrons from coming over to the gate fine because of this high insulation or high insulator the mosfet usually has very high input impedance very high, very very high input impedance so that is, these are the characteristics which are supposed to remember which are the basics which are supposed to remember so if i go to the characteristic you can see this characteristics we mentioned very clear here this is id versus vgs so uh, you can see this is a th threshold voltage or minimum voltage necessary for conducting or not necessary for creating the channel uh, thereafter the current start increasing rapidly and this is a plot of uh, this is a transfer characteristic and this is the output characteristic so it is id versus v ds so here you can see that the graph space between the two lines is increasing and increasing and increasing even if i am even though i am increasing vgs in steps of only 1 volt the increase in current will be drastic that's why i say the device is not linear device is non linear correct now if i keep last one point why the i will tell explain why this current is saturating if i keep vgs constant and if i increase the value of vds what will happen is the channel at the drain end starts becoming zero starts becoming zero once this channel at the drain end drain end becomes zero ideally what i expect current to be zero but thin channel still exists which uh, which uh, make current to be constant thin channel will be there which makes the current to con flow constant that uh, that point at which channel at the drain end becomes zero is called as pinch off point the value of vds for which the channel end at the drain end becomes zero is called as pinch off point and at pinch off point i, I usually call this point to be vp or pinch off point or overriding point so after this point even if i increase the value of vds current will remain constant even if this, the meaning of this part of the graph is even if i increase the value of vds the current is remaining constant that's why i say mosfet has been saturated and before this it is triode region hopefully it is very clear correct and one more thing which you are supposed to remember is the current equation id the id is 1 by 2 mu n cox into w by l into vgs minus vt whole square and uh, what is vgs minus vt you can i can even write as vov whole square 1 by 2 mu n cox into w by l into vov whole square and one lastly mosfet is also called as voltage control device transistor is called as current control device why mosfet is called as voltage control device because here output parameter is current who is controlling the current input parameter is what voltage here vgs earlier in transistor it was a plot of ic versus ib transistor characters was a plot of ic versus ib ic was the output current collector current and the output input voltage input current was base current here input is not current here input is a voltage hence transistor is called as voltage control device fine hopefully i am very clear
थैंक यू नो दिस इज द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ योर एनहेंसमेंट टाइप मॉस्पेट द बेसिकली स्लैब ऑफ पी टाइप सबस्टेट इज फॉर्म ऑन अ सिलिकॉन बेस ऑन विच ऑन दिस सिलिकॉन बेस द डिवाइस इज बींग कंस्ट्रक्टेड फाइन सो हियर वी कैन सी दैट अपर साइड ऑफ द एंड रीजन इज कंडेड टू ड्रेन वाई मेटेलिक कॉन्टैक्ट द लोअर साइड ऑफ द एंड रीजन इज अगेन कंडेड टू अ टर्मिनल कॉड एस सोर्स वाई मेटेलिक कॉन्टैक्ट गेट इज कंडेड टू सिलिकॉन डाइऑक्साइड लेयर वाई मेटेलिक कॉन्टैक्ट Uh, if you see the channel is absent here, you can see the channel is not there here initially. Then hence it is called as enhancement type MOSFET. If there had been a channel here, then it would have been called as a depletion type MOSFET. In depletion type MOSFET, there will be a channel. In enhance enhance.